Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Shalom, most and Christ bless. My name is Captain Barnabas, and on my right, Officer Asa. Yeah, so the topic we're gonna do today, you understand, your pastor do not have, have no understanding about the Bible. That's the topic. So we're gonna go over some simple things what the pastors use in the church, you understand, do not have no understanding, and our people run with it, you understand, for real. So, you ready? So the first. The first scripture we're going to go to, you understand? We're going to go to Genesis 3, verse 13. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 13. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. So we're going to go back again. Read it one more time for me. Verse 13. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me. So the Lord God was talking to the woman. He was talking to the man. He was talking to the woman. It said, The Lord God. What? Said unto the woman, mm -hmm. What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me. So it said, The serpent beguiled me. So in the, ch in, in the church, when we used to go to the church, the pastor always used to say, The serpent is a literally serpent like a snake. You understand? So the understand, we're going to go to the understanding to let your brothers and your sister know that it was a literally serpent. You understand? We're going to go to Revelation 12, verse what 19, to show you that the serpent, what God was talking to in the, what the woman said in the first beginning of the book, it wasn't a literal serpent. Give me that real quick. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 9. Mm -hmm. And the great dragon was cast out. Mm -hmm. That old serpent called the devil. You understand? So the, the understanding what they teach us when we're growing up as a, as a kid, we take it as a literal serpent. They tell us that the serpent by the apple and the woman come behind and eat the apple. That's why we end up doing sin and we die and all these things. But again, the Bible showing you that the serpent, it wasn't like what they tell us in the church. The serpent is what? Read one more time again. Verse 9. Mm -hmm. And the great dragon mm -hmm. was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan. You understand? So the great dragon, according to Revelation, talking about the so-called white man. So let me go to Job and show you where you're talking about what Job 30, where it said Job said he was a brother to dragon. So we're going to show you. You understand? The understanding, because the understanding does make many of our people still in the church. You understand? Come on, read it for me. Job chapter 30 and verse 29. Mm -hmm. I am a brother to dragons. You understand? So the Job said he's a brother to dragons. What that? What Job talking about? What Job talking about? He's a brother to a, 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 a literal dragon? No. He's talking about the so-called white man. That's what the most I call him. He have many names in the Bible, but we have to understand and know. You understand? These are the things. So we're going to go back to another lie, what they tell us in the church. You understand? Genesis 3 verse 1. You understand? We're going to go to another lie, what they tell us in the church. And these lies... You understand our people diagnosed with these things. You understand and have it the same way. You understand that's all they've taught us. Come on, read that for me. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. So he said, no, the serpent was still on that topic. 
the serpent. The serpent, you understand the serpent is who? You understand the serpent is the same Caucasian man who tricked us. You understand who whipped us in the time of slavery and let and teach us all these dumb understanding about the Bible. But listen good. Come on, read. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. So they said the serpent was more subtle than any beast in the field. And we're going to show you that what he's talking about, the beast right here, gonna, I'm going to show you that the beast is talking about a man. Come on, read. Which the Lord God had made. What? Which the Lord God had made. So the most I God had made. Because remember, when you read Genesis 1, you understand, it's not that. When you read, we are reading Genesis 1 verse what? 3 verse what? 3 verse 1. You understand, we're reading Genesis 3 verse 1. We have to understand on which day God created beasts, literally beasts. You understand, like goat, donkey, arse. And all these things, you understand? So we have Genesis 3, verse 1. Come on, read. And he said unto the woman, uh -huh. Yea, hath God said, Yea, hath God said, uh -huh. Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. So now we're talking about the trees in the garden. What he said, She shall not eat of every trees in the garden. What are you talking about? You understand? The understanding about the trees in the garden is not talking about literal trees. We're going to go to Mark 8, verse 4 to show you. That's it wasn't that literal trees. You understand? These are the things what we as the Israelites, only we alone gonna bring this understanding to you to make the sense. Come on, read it for me. No. Mark 8, verse 24. Mark chapter 8 and verse 24. So we'll go here to show you that it wasn't a literal trees he's talking about in the garden. Come on. And he looked up and said, uh -huh. I see men. What? I, I see men. So he said he looked up and he see men. As trees, what? as trees, Doing what? walking. After that, he put his hands. And so he looked up and he see men walking as trees. You understand? So these are the things what we are here to show you that what we learn, we have to we taught again. You understand? It wasn't literally trees. You understand? Let me go back to the beast right there. Go to Ecclesiastes. Let me show you that the beast. You understand? It wasn't literally beast. Ecclesiastes. Give me that 3 verse 18. I'm looking for 3 verse 18. Give me that read quick. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 18. Uh -huh. I said in mine heart uh -huh. concerning the estate of the sons of men. Come on. That God might manifest them and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. Are what? Are beasts. Are what? Are beasts. So God, when you read Genesis and you see where we're talking about the more settled than any beast in the field, it was talking about men. It wasn't talking about literal records. Genesis 3, man did not create as yet, correct? You understand? So these are the things what we're supposed to understand and come back to ourselves. You understand? Another lie, what they tell us in the church. You understand? When they're talking about cloud, we're going to go there. You understand? Cloud. We're going to go to M Mark 9, verse 7. Watch this. So these are the things. These are the things what we as brothers and, uh, and, and sister, you understand, who, who go into the Allos Christian church, need to start reform their mind again, you understand, for real, because many of us, you understand, many of our four parents were still going to the church, still have it in mind that if Jesus Christ our God arrived tomorrow, they're going to be safe with all these lies what they teach in the church. Give me that real quick. Mark chapter 9 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. And there was a cloud. What? There was a cloud. Come on. That overshadowed them. So now it said there was a cloud that overshadowed them. Come on. And there was a cloud that overshadowed them. Uh -huh. And a voice came out of the cloud. So now it said there was a cloud. So now it said there was a cloud that overshadowed them. And a voice came out from the cloud. So in the Christian church, when we go into the Christian church, it tells us that cloud, like the cloud was a, 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 a cloud was a puff of smoke. And is a vice which is like when you're watching the Ghostbuster, the cartoon movie. You understand? You hear that voice and everybody feel like that's what was a ghost. Now, we're going to go to the scriptures to show you that cloud is what? Psalm 104, verse 3. Psalm chapter 104, verse 3. Uh -huh. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot. So the cloud, what they was talking about in Mark 9, verse 7, you understand? It wasn't literally cloud. It was God's chariot. You understand? Someone was in the chariot speaking. It was not ghosts. It was a puff of smoke or a spirit, what they tell in the church. Then, real talk. 
You understand? So, and that's like what they tell us in the church. Because I'm here to just crush all these lies. You understand? A dumb spirit. You understand? Because these spirits are dumb spirits. You understand? Give me Mark 9 verse 17 real quick. So, these are the things, brothers and sisters. You understand? If you want a more better understanding with the Bible, you understand? You have to come over to the Israelites. You understand? For real. Read it for me real quick. Mark chapter 9 and verse 17. Mm -hmm. And one of the multitude mm -hmm. answered and said, mm -hmm. Master, I have brought unto thee my son, mm -hmm. which hath a dumb spirit. What? Which hath a dumb spirit. Come on. And whosoever he taketh him, mm -hmm. he teareth him. So the spirit, what you see in the church, you understand that's a dumb spirit. You understand? Don't even God himself cannot break down that spirit. They don't know that each and shantar, blah, 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 blah. Do you can understand that, sir? None of we cannot understand that spirit. You understand? God said that's that dumb spirit. Read one more time again. And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. Mm -hmm. And wheresoever he taketh him, mm -hmm. he teareth him, and he foameth and gnasheth with his teeth. That's the same thing you see in the church. The same thing what you see in the church. When they get in the spirit, they fall on the ground. And what happened? They start a foam. That's a dumb spirit. You understand? For real. When they dig up the definition for that spirit, they call it what? Glossolalia. That's the type of spirit they got in the church. You understand? For real. If you feel like we're lying, dig up the definition for a glossolalia. You're going to see what come up. That's a spirit what come up. You understand? For real. So these are the things what we are here to just teach. We are not pushing out the collection plate. What we, do, we don't need no tithes. You understand? We just need you to reform your mind. You understand? Because you see what's going on in the world today. You understand? You see that bombing been what? The president bombed what? Iran. You understand? Kill one of the great man. What they said. You understand? So war ought to be on the face of the earth. And beyond the war is our salvation coming at the same time. You understand? So now, so we're going to go again. Another lie. Because we're just eating lies. You understand? Christ's body. Read it for me. Give me Mark 15 verse 20. 1 to 23. Watch this. Because everybody said Christ. Nobody knows what Christ is. Uh, what Christ came from. The Immaculate Conception. You don't have no early father. Come read that for me real quick. Yeah. Mark where, chapter. Where you say he came from? Angels. He came from an angel. Who believed that? Who believed that lie until this day? Only the people in the church believe that same lie. You understand? Come on. Mark chapter 15 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. And when they had mocked him, mm -hmm. they took off the purple from him. So now a spirit, a spirit, yeah, a spirit. Let me, let me go, go to that scripture. Because it said a spirit. Read again. Remember, they take out the clothes. That means that a spirit, you understand, cannot wear garments. You understand for real. You will see a spirit and you can hide in front and say, yeah, yeah, I want something white, white, white. And what? No. Read one more time again for me. Mark chapter 15, verse 20. Mm -hmm. And when they had mocked him, mm -hmm. they took off the purple from him mm -hmm. and put his own clothes on him mm -hmm. and led him to out to crucify him. You see what I'm saying? So they put on his own clothes on him. You understand? A spirit, you cannot do that to a spirit. You cannot take off clothes from a spirit. You understand? I'm going to show you this. Give me Luke 24, verse 39. Luke. God Christ going to tell you he wasn't a spirit. Come on. Luke chapter 24, verse 39. Mm -hmm. Behold. My hands and my feet, that it is I myself, mm -hmm. handle me mm -hmm. and see, for a spirit has not flesh and bones. These are the understanding what the teachers in the church. You understand these lies? You understand Christ out of his own more telling you? Because if, if you go to the book of Luke and you look, it's supposed to be in red writing, correct? It's in red writing. Christ telling you out of his own mouth. He said a spirit cannot. You understand? Come on. For a spirit hath not flesh and bones, mm -hmm. as ye see me what? have, as ye see me have. Oh, man. That's so easy. Go to these young men. That, you understand what's sitting in front of me right now? You understand? If you ask them that understanding, if, if they understand what just read, they're going to say yes. You understand? A spirit cannot. A spirit cannot. You understand? Stand up in closing. You cannot take off clothes off the spirit. Because when you read Mark 15, verse 20 to 23, 21 to 23, you understand? They take off Christ's garments off him. You understand? And replace another garment on him. You understand? So Christ give you the understanding in Luke 24, verse 39, said, Handle me. A spirit cannot what? 
hath not flesh and bones. Have not flesh and bones. You understand? So I don't know where they get this from. You understand? They have a nick lies in the church of them that Christ and God is the same person. You understand? They said the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, they are one person. Who believe that? You understand? I'm going to show you that Christ and God is totally different. They are totally different. You understand? I'm just eating the lies because I used to go to the church. I used to go to the church. You understand? For real. So I have to eat these lies. You understand? For real. So we're going to go to John 14, verse 1 and 2. Just listen. This is good. So all the lies, what our four parents and many of our four parents, they know. You understand? Because many of you brothers, you wake up, you go back and you try to give the understanding. But just because they used to carry to church with your pants took in, belt so tight around the waist. You understand? In that, what, what do they call those shoes again? Those pants more shoes for the wear? No, 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 not slanders. What do they call them again? You know what you would have liked to wear those, those, those pants with more shoes and they wear the, the hat and they feel like that and they walk like this? What do they call them again? Skittles or whatever? I, I, I don't know. You know those, those, those dressing shoes? Oh, uh, what do they call the dressing shoes again, man? Yeah? Those, those dressing shoes, yes. So that's how we used to go to church. You understand? So just because now we used to go to church, grandmother used to send us to church and carry us to church. Now we're trying to show them they understand. No, they don't respect us. No, no. Son, they don't know the Bible. No. God loves everybody, son. No, God and Christ is the same thing. No, we're going to show you that Christ and God is two separate persons. Huh? Come on. John chapter 14 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Let not your heart be troubled. So now we are trying to tell you the things what because many of our people read reading the Bible from the world, a kid up, you understand, and still cannot make the sense or get to the understanding and know that Christ and God is totally different person. You understand? So now we're going to bring the understanding out to you. Don't go in the mouth wide and say, I, I never know this. No, look for yourself. Read for yourself. Watch this. Come on. Ye believe in God. Mm -hmm. Believe also in me. So what? Ye believe in God. So now, it's, if you said, Christ said, if you believe in God, what? Believe also in me. So you, you want to tell me that Christ is speaking to his own self when he say that? He said, if you believe in God, you're going to believe in me. Come on, read. In my father's house. What? In my father's house are many mansions. So you want to tell me that Christ is speaking to yourself when he say that? He said, in my father's house. You understand? He said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. That means Christ and God could never be the same person. Brothers and sisters. You understand? Yeah, but give me John. 3 verse 17. The same book. The same book. The New Testament. In the New Testament. I can't believe you, brother and your sister, read this book. I don't have a problem with this book. Come on. John chapter 3 verse 17. Mm -hmm. For God sent not his son into the world. Uh oh So no. God what? For God sent not his son into the world. These are the things. I'm just eating spots. You understand? God do not send his son into his world because the son is who? Jesus the Christ. So God and Christ could never be the same person. So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we have to come to the understanding and know what that really means. You understand? More scriptures and Christ and God is not the same person. You understand? Proverbs 30 verse 4. You understand? More scriptures. More scriptures. You understand for real? Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Who hath ascended up into heaven? What? Who hath ascended up into heaven. Jesus Christ go up into heaven. Come or on. descended. Or descended. Come on. He's, God send him. You understand? When he finishes his job, he go back. Come on. Read. Who hath gathered the wind in his fist. Everybody knows God gathered the wind in his fist. Come on. Who hath bound the waters in a garment. And who hath bound the water in his garments. God. Come on. Who hath established all the ends of the earth. Yes, God used seven. God used Six days and, and establish all the hands of the earth. Come on. What is his name? What is his name? Everybody and, know he's his God. Come on. And what is his son's name? Jesus Christ. That is his son's name. You understand? That's showing that Jesus Christ and God is two different persons. You understand? That seems so simple. That's so simple and easy. You understand? Second Thessalonians 2 verse 16. Jesus Christ and God is not the same person. It's eating ends. God, these are the things. It, all over the whole entire Bible is showing you this. But our people, the, I'm not talking about the younger generation. I'm talking about the, 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 the people who diagnosed with it, like the, the people before us. You understand? Come on, read. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. 
Now, our Lord Jesus Christ himself. What? Now, our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Come on. And. And. God. What? God. Uh -oh. So now you see that. <laughs> These are the things what I'm saying. I'm saying. And it's still, we will read this to our brothers and our sisters. You understand? Especially more elder ones. And what? What they will do? They will still don't believe it. You understand? They will still don't believe it. They said, let me go ask my pastor this. No, it's plain. Read it one more time. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Himself. And God. And what? And God. And God. Two different persons, Israel. You understand? I'm talking to you Negroes out there. You understand? You are no Negroes. You are the Israelites, but that's what you, 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 you want to call yourself. You understand? Because you believe in master. Master ain't going to teach you what we're teaching you. I promise you. First Corinthians 1 verse 1. Read that. You understand? Stay in Thessalonians and Second Thessalonians 1 verse 1. Same way. Same book. You, do, you, all right, you said the Old Testament done away with. Come Christ came. Okay. All right. The whole is New Testament. Stay there. Second Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 1. Uh -huh. Paul and Silvanus uh -huh. and Timotheus. And Timotheus. Unto the church of the, of the Thessalonians. Unto the church of the Thessalonians. You're in the book of the Thessalonians. Come on, read. And God our Father. And what? And God our Father. And God our Father. And. And. And the Lord Jesus Christ. You see that? Two different persons. Two different persons. Two different persons. You understand? There are many. So you cannot tell us that, okay, it's just one scripture that pull. No, we are giving a multitude of scripture to show you that Jesus Christ and God is two different persons. Two different persons. More scriptures again. Give me that in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 1. More scriptures. Real talk. I have to just eat eggs. Come on. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Paul, called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. through the will of God. To what? To through the, the will, will of, of God. God. Come on. And Sostenis, mm -hmm. our brother, mm -hmm. unto the church of God. Unto the church of God. Which is at Corinth. Which is at Corinth, God, that's where Paul was at. Come on. To them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. To them that was what? Sanctified in Christ. In Christ Jesus. Called to be saints. Called to be a saint. With all that in every place called upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Read up to verse 4, come on. Both theirs and ours. Mm -hmm. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father. And who? And from the Lord Jesus Christ. See that? These are the things, brethren. These are the things, brothers and sisters. That's what we are. That's why we are here bringing out the word. Not, not said we are here to, to, to condemn the people in the church. Yeah, yeah, you understand? We are here to condemn the people who make those buildings. Because the church is our people in the church. Make it to be a church. You understand? The building cannot speak by itself. You understand? So the one third, what the most I said, going to repent. You understand? We have a lot of brothers and sisters in the church who still want to ask questions. You understand? Still want to even talk to the pastor about the, 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 my, the, they're not in that, what I call it, that category. Because I know in New York, when I'm in New York and I see every Sunday, they have the, the, the cars that go around them, the access arrive. Mm -hmm. They only go for the people who have a good credit, good credit, like the whole people, where they can write a solid check. You understand? You like, oh, you young brothers and you young sisters. No, you don't get that. They go for the more older people what diagnose with Christianity. What will never change. They will never listen to us. You understand? When they see us out there, they always fun in their hand. No, this, they don't know what they're saying. These are the people. So we have to bring forth the word because we know what God said. God said, my word don't go divide. You understand? They're going to hear and many of them going to repent. The one church going to repent. You understand? From the church. You understand? Romans 7 verse 25. Watch this. So, are we going to get back our mind to really come back to serve the Most High God? We have to do this. Come on, read. Romans chapter 7 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. I thank God through Jesus Christ, what? our Lord. What? I thank God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's we as Israelites. We have to thank God through Jesus Christ. You understand? That's two different persons. Thank God through Jesus Christ. Come on. So then, with the mind. With what? With the mind. So we have to get our mind right. We have to confirm back. We have to come back to be a child. You understand? We have to retard again. Come on. I myself serve the law of God. You understand? That's how we're going to do the right thing. That's how we're going to serve God the right way. You understand? 
for real. Because nobody cannot go to the president in America, just walk up to him. You understand? He have, an, uh, he, he have somebody what he call a vice president. And after the vice president, he what? He have senators and what they call him again? Congressmen and all these. You have to go through them before you can reach the president. It's the same thing with God. You can't just call upon God and say, okay, God and J Jesus Christ in the same body. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. You understand? Daniel 7, verse 25. Read it for me. Daniel 7, verse. I'm going to show you that Jesus Christ and God is not the same person. You understand? But Daniel 7, verse 22. That's what I want. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 22. Mm -hmm. Until the ancient of days came. So now the ancient of days came is not Christ. It's not Jesus Christ. You understand? It's God himself. You understand? Why they call him the ancient of days? Because he's before days. You understand? Come on. And judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. See what I'm saying? So this is it. Israel, you understand? He said judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. He said until the ancient of days was he came and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. You understand? So if you do not want to take the, the righteous judgment while coming from us, you understand? Are they going to come when you're going to fall under our hand? You understand? Because God going to say, okay, the same people what he was warning over there in Egypt, okay, I'm going to make them fall back in your hand. Judge them. That's why judgment going to be like this. You understand? God don't have no time to come and sit down and say, okay, you, what you do in Egypt? No, we know what you do. Because everything going to come back to you. I said, oh, for real, I was right there. Downtown and Broadway and what? Alabama. Alabama. And you cannot, you cannot, you cannot re refuse it. Your judgment set. That's what the most I said. For real. <laughs> Give me First Peter 1 verse 3. These are the things, bro. So get your mind up. Get your mind up. The Bible is not a fairy tale book. These are the lies what they tell, teach us in the church. There's a lot more lies, but it's just this I want to knock right now because the time is short. Come on. First Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Blessed be the God of and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. What? Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So if you want your prayer to go up there, what when you're praying, or you pray, you pray to Jesus Christ or what? Huh? You pray to God, you bring out the most high name first, and then you pray to Christ, because Christ is the one. Because he said, I'm the way. Give me that in John. 14 verse 26. That, that's it. 14 verse 6. Give me that real quick. Give me that real quick. So lies on top of lies, lies on top of lies, lies on top of lies, and our people just, just don't care no more. They feel like, okay, just call the name of the Lord and, and everything is good with God. No, watch this. John chapter 14 and verse 6. Jesus saith unto him, mm -hmm. I am the way. I am what? I am the way. I am the way. You understand? The way is. The way is not like our, our, our brothers and our sister have it. Like the way is like, ah, ah. No. The way is not like that. Listen all the way go. Come on. The truth. The truth. You have to know the truth. Come on. And the life. And what? And the life. And the life. What give you life? You have to come back to the laws and statutes and commandments. Come on. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you don't rehearse the righteous acts, oh, you want to go in front of the Father. Oh, you want to call upon the name of the Father and he and you, you get there. No, Christ telling you what you have to do first for him to do the things what you want the Father to hear from you. Come on. He said, no one go to the Father but to me. Come on. But by me. Uh -huh. If ye had known me, mm -hmm. ye should have known my Father also. So I'm saying, so these are the things what our brothers don't know. And our sisters don't know. You understand? God said, when you look at me and look at you, you look at the image of God. You understand? So if you don't know God, all you're going to say, you understand? You, you love God. You understand? You have to love me first. And you have to love you as a brother. You have to love your brother who sit beside you. You understand? I'm talking about nobody with no blue, purple eyes. No. I'm talking about your brother who you might be called, what, what's up my dog or what's up my nigga. That's your brother right there. You have to show him the love, what Christ is looking for, for you. you can say, okay, we're going to go on the other side. You understand? So with that, Israel, we're going to say shalom. Mosa and Christ, bless. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC.
has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.